All right, desk is a little high because I'm in the middle of uh, e-learning with you guys during uh, Wednesday Go Live session, so apologize for the desk being really high. So anyways, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a recap of what we did a couple minutes ago. So what we did for kindergarten was we went over uh, this book right here called From, Wa uh, From Wax to Crayon. It's basically showing you guys how crayons are made, uh, specifically Crayola. And what I did is that I played a little small guessing game because we didn't have that much time after that. We took some crayons, so I took these crayons over here, and we kind of played a guessing game, kind of like this. So I took a random crayon. So this one looks like a, kind of like a blue, greenish type of, type of like a dark blue. And all we did is I asked questions of how or what color you could, you guys could think it could be. So this one obviously is blue green, and it's actually called blue green, so that's a bad example. But um, let's try another one, random color. All right, so that's a bad example too. All right, how about this one, random color? All right, so this one's called, this one's red. This one specifically is called Brick Red. So we played a game like that, and that's all we did. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this recap, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. I think I'm going to get started. Okay, so it's recording now. So I'm going to get started real quick. So I have a book for you guys I want to read to you. And so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to turn on my other camera. And if you want to see the book a little bit better, sometimes what people do is that they pin my face. If you just hover the mouse cursor over my face and click the pin button, you should be able to see the book way better. So what I'm going to do is switch my camera. So here he goes. And here's the book. So this book is called uh, From Wax to Crayon. And it's basically about how crayons are made. So hopefully you guys enjoy this book. And let's get going. All right, from wax to crayon. Here's a picture of a worker. Here's a picture of some crayons. All right, let's get started. Where will your crayons take you? Will they lead you to a tall, crowded city or into thick, dark forests or for visits beneath the sea? Those are really cool drawings. With crayons, you can travel anywhere. Just bring along your imagination and lots of different colors. But where do crayons come from? Crayons begin with wax. So outside the crayon factory, tanks of clear gooey wax stand waiting for color. Meanwhile, at the color mill, the primary colors red, blue, and yellow are made from chemicals. The primary colors are then mixed together in different ways to create many other colors. So if you look at this photo over here, that's what crayons start out like. They start out like that. So it's like little waxy blocks like that from this big tank. I'm assuming that's from the back of a truck. And then they're mixed together accordingly. So if you guys didn't know, the primary colors are red, yellow, blue. I think you guys know that already. And then if you mix the colors, they create the secondary colors. So if you mix red and yellow, it equals orange. If you mix yellow and blue, it makes green. If you mix red and blue, it makes purple, also known as violet. All right, let's keep going. Once the color looks right, its mixture is baked in a special oven called a kiln. Hours later, hard colored cakes are removed from the kiln. And ground into fine powder by a pulverizing machine. The colored powder, called pigment, is packed into bags and sent off to the crayon factory. So, as you can see, the crayons are powder, kind of. Just like that. All right, let's see how it turns into an actual crayon. There, in big vats, the pigments are mixed with very hot liquid wax. Each mixture of wax and pigment must be blended over and over. Otherwise, one end of a crayon could come out a different color than the other end. So it looks like what they did is that they mixed the wax with the powder uh, color, which is really cool. All right, the newly colored wax is poured over molds and stirred to keep their air bubbles from forming. A bubble inside a crayon might cause it to break later on. Soon, the wax hardens into these familiar shapes.
The crayons must cool for a while, then they are removed from the molds. And then they're checked for chips and dents. After all, no one wants new crayons that are already broken. That's a lot of red crayons. I think that's orange, I don't know. Pretty cool. A machine wraps and labels each crayon and boxes it with others that are exactly the same. But hundreds of crayons of the same color aren't much fun. So this machine is how the wrapping's made on each crayon. And this is what it looks like when they're trying to sort them. Well, that's gonna be really hard to sort by hand. So how do they do it? Let's take a look of how they sort these crayons. So the sorter combines them into sets. Oh, so that's how they do it. Pretty cool, huh? So it kind of like goes down. Kind of looks like a gumball machine, kind of. With all the colors that people like to use. Really cool. At last, the crayons reach the packing machine. Here, they go into open-ended packages called sleeves, and then into boxes ready for you. So over here, you can see the sleeves are kind of made of cardboard, and that's how they're packed. And then they're packed into the packaging, so the ones that we are familiar with, like that. So let me just pause real quick. So I'm assuming that if I have this box over here, these are the sleeves. And then mine came with like a, a plastic thing, so that's the container. So it's kind of cool. All right. With a good box of crayons, you can draw and color just about anything. All right. On this last page, this page is pretty cool. Oh, wait. <laughs> Even the best looking person you know. And who could that be? So it looks like they did some self portraits. It's really cool. All right, on this page, this page is really cool. All right, here are some unusual crayon names. Can you think of any others? So on this page, they have some really interesting uh, crayons that have very specific names. So this one looks like purple, right? But it's called lavender to represent the flower. This one's called magenta. This one looks like yellow, right? But this one's called ochre. This one's called turquoise. This one looks like a red though, right? But it's called Scarlet. This one's called Olive. This one's called Cerulean. And this one's called Sepia. So sometimes crayons are made of uh, certain materials and things. And there's sometimes the names are based off of uh, certain things that we see in real life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my other camera so you guys can see me. And then what we're going to do for the next couple of minutes I want to play a guessing game with you guys. So this guessing game involves my crayons. So if you have crayons too, uh, you can play along with me. But if you don't have crayons with you at the moment, uh, just watch and uh, you guys can uh, volunteer and try to guess these crayons with me. So what I'm going to do is out of these uh, set of crayons, I'm going to pick a random crayon. And I'm hoping that it has a very different and interesting name. And then we're going to try to guess what the name is. All right, so this is my first crayon. That I pulled out. It looks like a dark blue, but I just took a peek at the name and it's definitely not called dark blue. So who wants to take a guess of what this crayon could be called? There's no wrong answers here. Kaylee, you want to take a guess of what this crayon could be called? That's a pretty cool name. Uh, it could be called that. Anyone want to take another guess? Um, you can raise your hand. I'm going to pick Alexander. Alexander B. I saw your hand raised. Navy blue? <laughs> it is a blue, but not quite. That's not what this one's called. I did see another one hand up. Uh, can I pick Samir? What could this be called? Blue green. Mean? That's very, very close. Let's take a look at this name. Some people might be upset, but I think it's a really cool name. This one, if I can get it to focus a little bit, this one's called Cadet Blue. Really, really interesting name. So there's no wrong answers here. They can be called anything you want, but let's just see what Crayola made when it comes to these naming things. So I'm gonna pick another crayon. That's gonna be a little confusing. Let's see. Hmm. 
All right. All right, this one's going to be fun. You've probably seen this crayon before. So this one is obviously green, right? It's obviously the color green, but Crayola gave it a very interesting name. Can anyone try to guess what this crayon could be? What could be the Crayola name for this crayon? It is green, but Crayola gave it a very interesting name. Noah, you want to take a guess? Method had no fuss. Dark green. Dark green. <laughs> I prefer that name too. And I think that could be a good answer. Anyone want to take another guess of what they could have called this crayon? I'm going to pick Cameron. Cameron M. Lime green. That's very close too. Close. It's called Granny Smith apple. Kind of like an apple. Kind of cool, right? All right. I think I have time for one more crayon. Let's see. All right, this one should be a little bit easier. So try to think of things in real life that are this color. So this is obviously a red, right? But it's called a specific other name based on this color. So what does it look like to you? Does it look like maybe like a wall? It looks like a shoe one. or someone, like maybe like lipstick? What could this crayon's name be called? Anyone want to take a guess? Samir? Violet Red. Violet Red. That's a cool name. Let's choose Violet someone else. Violet. That's a very cool name. That's not what it's called, though. I'm going to pick uh, Xander. Red Violet. Chorus mm. Red. It could be. It could be. Apple Let's take a look at its actual name. This one's called Red Apple. Brick me. Red. It was upside Brick down. Brick Red. All right. That was a cool one. All right. Well, that said, I am going to end this video session. So I'm going to stop recording right now. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.